In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you always and with your spirit. We welcome you this morning to Blessed Sacrament through our live stream. We're here to celebrate, begin our day with Holy Mass, to ask Jesus to bless us, give us his grace and his strength. We have to do things that are more difficult now. We have to study on our own, we have to work from home, and just trying to stay home is difficult, so we need to ask the Lord's grace and his strength. Let us acknowledge our sins and ask God to forgive us, to give us that great gift called purity of heart. Lord Jesus, you have come to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy in humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshiping it, sacrificing to it and crying out, This is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord, his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with such great power and with so strong a hand? Why should the Egyptians say, with evil intent he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth. Let your blazing wrath die down. Relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land that I promised, I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember, Remember us, us, O Lord, o Lord as, as you, you favor, favor your, your people. people. Our fathers made a calf in Horeb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory <clears throat> for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Remember, Remember us, us, O Lord, Lord as you favor your, your people. people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember, Remember us, us, O Lord, Lord as, as you favor your, your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember, Remember us, O Lord, Lord as, as you, you favor, favor your people. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish... These works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you, because you do not believe in the one whom he sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf. But you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. But if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God. Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, sometimes when we read the Bible, and especially when we read the Old Testament, 
we're trying to put it all together and like how does all this affect me today as a Christian, as a follower of Jesus Christ? You know, when, when God created the heavens and the earth, when God said, let there be light and there was light, He was preparing the world for Jesus, the light of the world. When God had the Israelites, when He permitted the Israelites to become slaves in Egypt, He was preparing to send the world Jesus. When Moses went up that mountain and got the Ten Commandments and everybody thought that he was dead because he had been up there probably two or three weeks. It probably took him two or three days just to get up the mountain. And there were no cell phones so he could tell people he was all right. And there was smoke and thunder and lightning coming from the mountain. And the people down in the valley were scared to death. This was God speaking with thunder and lightning. And they just assumed Moses is dead. We haven't heard from him in three or four weeks. He must be dead. We better get our own God And that's what they did. They made the image of a calf out of gold. What is that? Violation of the first commandment. Thou shalt not have strange gods before me. Here they are worshiping a calf. What was all this? Why was all this happening? To get the world ready for Jesus. When God led the people through the Dead Sea and the sea opened before them, He was getting the world ready for Jesus. Everything in the Old Testament was getting the world ready for Jesus. So we could all look back and say, oh, I see now how when God, the people went through the Red Sea, through that water, that was a symbol of baptism that one day we're going to be saved from our sins through the waters of baptism. Everything was planned to get the world ready for Jesus. And that's why He is the light of the world and He is the truth, the way, the truth, and the life. You don't have to look anywhere else. You don't have to travel anywhere else. You have everything you need right there in Him. He's the only thing we need. So put all your eggs in one basket. We don't need another basket, do we? Put all your eggs in that one basket. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. God has given you this hopefully 60, 70, 80 years on this earth. What does He want you to do? Come to know Jesus. It's about a marriage. If you're going to marry somebody, you better get to know them well because you're going to spend the rest of your life with them, right? Well, heaven is about spending the rest of our eternity with God. You're on earth to come to know Him and love Him because you're going to spend a lot of time with Him. And it's going to be very exciting times when we see God as He is. We're going to realize that the greatest boredom in the world was this world. What God has planned for us is not boring. It is a joy and excitement that we've never dreamed. But everybody sometimes still makes golden calves, don't they? They worship, oh, I'm going to spend all their time and all their energy and all their money thinking about this or that, things that can't save you. We, We keep making the same mistakes, don't we? Still worshiping those golden calves. Throw the calf away. We only need one thing. Everything in the Bible points to him. His name is Jesus. We got some time while we're home. This coronavirus, this is a great opportunity. Don't miss this opportunity. Spend significant time talking to Jesus, listening to Him, read His Word, tell Him you love Him, tell Him you want to get to know Him so you can live with Him forever in heaven. We'll stand together now and lift up our prayers to God, our Almighty Father. For all the church, during this Lenten season, may the Lord increase in in us hearts for sharing and self-denial. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayers. prayers. For all who serve, either as elected or appointed authorities, may the God of wisdom bless them with the skills and gifts necessary for true servant leadership. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayers. prayers. For all who are sick in our community, may the healing consolation of Christ be upon them and make them whole. Let us pray 
to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For all of us assembled here, may the steadfast love and mercy of God draw us ever closer to him through the life and death of Christ his Son. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For all who have died, may they come to share in the fullness of Christ's glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For our special intention today, for Jack and Addie Coleman on the celebration of their birthdays, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. We pray for all those who are sick with the coronavirus, for their families. We pray for all the doctors and nurses, especially in New York and New Jersey, places where there's so many cases and so, so much uh, pressure on our uh, health care professionals. We ask the Lord to have mercy on all these people. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. God, our Father, we love you and we trust in you. And we ask all of our prayers with confidence in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated now at home as we prepare the, for the liturgy of the Eucharist. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash me. We stand together, pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us in our frailty from every evil and always grant us your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal Feast with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and the works of charity, participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow upon your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes 
in the name of the Lord. Sana, Hosanna in the highest. We kneel together. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread in giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We stand together now at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other, our families at home, a sign of Christ's peace. sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death you gave life to the world. Free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from every evil. Jesus, keep us faithful to your teachings. Never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. And may this sacrament we have received purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant your servants freedom from all blame, that those bound by a guilty conscience may glory in the fullness of heavenly remedy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Once again, I want to just remind everyone at home the importance of making a spiritual communion when you can't receive communion physically, right, in the Holy Eucharist. We can still invite Jesus to come into us. And I encourage you to do that not just during Mass at communion time, but at different times throughout the day. We can ask the Lord to come and be one with us because that's our destiny, isn't it? To be one with Jesus forever in heaven in every way. Also, um, since the uh, mayor's proclamation to shelter at home, we you know, uh, have to keep our doors locked to the church. We hate that, but uh, the doors have to remain locked uh, even during the day. We are going to have a rosary at 12 noon that will be live streamed Monday through Friday at 12 noon. I'll lead that rosary from the Adoration Chapel. And um, I invite you to, uh, to connect and pray the rosary with us for the end of the coronavirus. We'll continue to, to um, ask God to uh, free us from this disease and not make anybody else sick, not lose any persons to death. We can pray that God will do that for us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. There's a in God's mercy.